In this video, I'm going to show you how to hide password and secret keys in your Python script so you don't have to share your password or API key every time you share your Python script with others. And to do that, we're going to create environment variables. And then we're going to call these environment variables in our Python script. So let's get started. All right, now to create environment variables on a Mac, we have to open the terminal. So we press on the command key plus the space key, and then we write terminal. And this is how we open the terminal. Then we have to go to our root directory using the terminal. So we use the CD command. I write CD and press enter, and now I'm on my root directory. And now we have to run the following command. So we write nano dot bash underscore profile. So after this, we press enter and we should see now this window. So I'm going to press enter and now we should see this. So here we can create an environment variable. And to do that, first we have to write export. So here I'm going to write export and then we have to write the name of the variable and the value. So in this case, I'm going to write a name which is username. So this is going to be the username for any account I have. So I write username. And then we have to write equal to and then we open quotes. These quotes are important, so don't forget it. And after this, I'm going to write just any random username. So for example, I write Python hyphen lover and then I'm going to create a new variable. And in this case, it's going to be the password. So I write export password equal to and in this case, I'm going to write just password one, two, three. So this is going to be my password and my username. And with this, we have our two variables. All right, now to save these changes, we have to follow the instructions below. So here to exit this, we have to press the card key and the X. So here I'm going to press the card key, which is also the control key. And I press X. So I press this two, and then we have this question. So we have to answer yes to save all these modifications. So I press the Y key and then I have to press enter to exit this. So now we successfully save these two environment variables. All right, now to finish all of this, we have to restart the terminal and our ID. In my case, I'm going to restart the terminal and also PyCharm. Okay, to create environment variables on Windows, first we have to open the control panel. Right now, I'm on the control panel and we have to choose the option that says system and security. And then we go to system. So I click on system and then we find the option that says advanced system settings. Then a new window will pop up and when we have this window, we have to go to the tab that says advanced. Then we go to the option that says environment variables. And here we have to create our variables. So here we have to press on the new button to create a new variable. So I'm going to click on it. And here we have to set the variable name and the variable value. So in the variable name, I'm going to set it equal to username. And in the value, I'm going to write any username. So I just write Python hyphen lover. You can write anything you want. And after that, you click on OK. And well, with this, the variable will be created. And then I'm going to create a second variable. And in this case, it's going to be the password. So I write password in the name. And in the value, I write something random like password one, two, three. So now I press on OK. And with this, we have our two environment variables created. Then we have to click on OK to save all these changes. And if you're using a text editor, you have to restart your text editor or your IDE so these changes can take effect. OK, I've just restarted PyCharm. So now to call these two variables, I have to use the OS module. So I write import OS. And now to call these two variables, we write OS that environment that get and inside parentheses we write the variables that we created so as you might remember the first one was username so i write username and the second one was password so i write password and now i'm going to set a name for these two variables so i just create a variable in my python script so i write equal to and then i write username so i write username equal to os.environ.get. So this is the username and then, well, I do the same with the password. So now that I have the username and the password in my variables, I'm going to print it. So I print these two 
variables so you can see the content. So I print the username and also I print the password. And as you can see now, the values that they have here are the same values that we set before when we created our environment variables. So we successfully created these two environment variables and we could call them in our Python script. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.